Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Uh, another review from the Spezial, I don't know, Spezial Decade Pack. I did the, my last video, if you saw it, I did the Garwin and the Lacombe. And there was four releases. Um, I didn't get the Blackburn, but the third one I've got, probably the most anticipated Spezial release in these 10 years that Spezial have been going. Um, and it is literally 10 years since this trainer came out. December uh, 2014, the Ardwick, which um, was released just 500, if people remember back in the day, uh, 500 released. It was an exclusive with Oi Pull Oi. The Manchester uh, shop uh, retailer. Um, the story goes. I'll take you right back to it. Um, 2013, Gary Aspen um, had a meeting with Nigel Lawson, the top man at Oi Poloi, added as fanatic. Um, they were talking about silhouettes. Um, you know what what's going to come out in the Spezial line. Uh, Nigel had a pair of California, very very. Old, the classic Adidas California, which were out in the 70s, I think released in 72 and 74. Um, he obviously, Gary wanted to see them, which I think he asked for them. Um, he says no. Uh, eventually, um, the, that trainer was taken to a meeting and Spezial did the California for in, in the same release in 14, which is like that burnt orange um, rust which the California was, uh, for legal reasons. People probably know this story, and I'm only telling you what I know, but some people might not. Uh, for legal reasons, um, for copyright, Adidas couldn't use the name California, so they chose Topanga, which, the Topanga Canyon, which is in uh, LA, in California. Topanga's a district in California, so the next best thing, okay, we'll call it Topanga. And of course, from that, a line of Topanga are also leased with Adidas. Um, unfortunately, I've not got a pair of those Topanga Speziales. I've had them in the past. I've sold them. Another pair that I'm looking for, actually. More common, not as limited as the Ardwicks. But anyway, going back to 2014. So the, the, the Spezial wanted to do their own on the silhouette of the California, apart from doing the reissue of the California, which, of course, was called Topanga. Um, so um, Nigel Lawson went with that. Uh, he wanted to make it his own personal uh, his own personal take on it. Um, so he chose the name Ardwick, which is, a lot of people know, is an area of Manchester. <sighs> I'm keep going. And um, he chose Green, Ardwick Green's a park in Manchester, uh, in Ardwick, sorry. Uh, so he chose the Green, um, which everyone knows now, the Ardwick is green. Um, and 500 were released, only 500. They were quickly, they, had, they were released quite quickly because they wanted to release it as part of the that, that first collection of Spezial with the Topanga Speziales. I think it was the Touring Shoe, the Bostons. Uh, Oi Polloi got 200, I believe. And they got on sale in December. And the other 300, I think, were, were sold elsewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but 500 were released. Um, so that, funny enough, actually, I didn't realise, but I've been to Ardwick uh, when I was 15. Uh, I went to see Blinda Carlisle in concert. Um because Manchester Apollo is in Ardwick. So who'd have thought all these years later, 1989 that was, I think I was 15, I went after school to Ardwick, uh, which is quite a long trek from Yorkshire. But anyway, I'm digressing, really digressing now. But who'd have thought years later I'd be talking about Ardwick and Blinda Carlisle at Manchester Apollo on a YouTube video. But anyway, that's life. So that was 2014. Fast forward 10 years, the reissue of the Ardwick has obviously been highly anticipated. A lot of people don't own a pair of the Ardwicks 20, uh, 2014 because there was so little uh, produced. Um, I've had them twice. I've sold them twice because I needed the money for other things. I'm now looking for them for a third time. So if anyone has a size 10 or a nine and a half or a 10 and a half in an Ardwick 2014, get in touch because I'd love to have a pair again. Um, depending on price and payment plan and how long you want the money, that'll dictate it as well. But I'd love to own another pair. Uh, more so now, I've got the 2024 version, and this is them. So, I'd love to have a pair of 14 to compare, um, but obviously I've got many pictures and information to, to compare it to. Beautiful. They're absolutely lovely. Um, they really are. Obviously, it's got the 
the gum sole. Uh, the green isn't as bright. I would say, compared to the 2014, they're a bit more of an olivey sage. They're not as bright. I'd say more of an olive or a sage green, if you like. Um, absolutely lovely. The suede, it's like reversible leather, I think Gary called it. It's got a little bit of give to it. It, it moves, you know, it goes one way or another. Really high quality suede. The new book suede on the heel tab. And the... Um, uh, the stripes there, really nice quality. Uh, very like the, the original ones, sorry, the, well, the, the 2014 ones. Uh, the tongue, sponge tongue, just like the other four, the 2014 ones. Can you see that? But a little bit more, a little bit more um, stitched on and just looks a little bit better quality. Um, the two big differences for me, well, there's actually four, but I'm going to do them. The, the, the first, the big two ones for me is the tongue. What you had on the original, well, in the forts, I keep calling the originals, I guess the California is original, but the original Ardwick, the 2014, you've got the, you had the white um, Ardwick uh, and it had oil polloi on it. There was nothing Spezial mentioned on the old ones, even the box wasn't Spezial. Um, so there was obviously debates, is it a Spezial release? It was. Here, obviously, you've got Spezial in there. You've got made for Spezial on the tongue. So that was one difference. That's more like in keeping with the California, the 72 and 74 release, that label there. The other is the midsole. So the midsole basically is brown. On the original, it was black, but it's also a little bit thinner there, it's slimmer. On the 14s, they were a little bit, it was a little bit thicker. Um, so they were the two big differences for me. Uh, the others, is the laces. The laces are, are, are very nylon-y. Now, on, they were more cotton on the 14s, and they're a bit of a darker green. They're quite shiny because it's nylon. Now, what I'll, I've seen a lot of people doing is putting the, you know, the moss side, an Adidas release, one of my favourite Adidas releases, those. I'm on my third pair of these now, actually. They came out, I think, oh, three years ago, 2020, 20, 21. Um, the laces of these, obviously, are cotton, in keeping with the 14s, and they came with a spare pair. Can you see they are different? They're more of like a, a well, a moss colour, which would be keeping with a moss side name. These are a bit brighter. They're more like the Ardwick 14s. Again, I've not got a pair to compare, but they're very similar, if memory serves me, to the 14s. Now, I think they would actually go really well. I mean, it's an identical match to the stripes. Look at that. It's almost identical. And to the heel tab, so I might try them. Um, somebody's tried them on one of the Facebook pages and it does look good. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't mind it. It's not something I really, I'm really going to worry about, but it might just be worth trying these and seeing what they're like. So if anyone's got them offside, the spare laces that come with them offside apparently are a perfect match if it's really bothering you. Um, and the other one is the toe. Um, the toe on these is a lot um, curvier. It's a curvier toe. On the others, it was, um, sorry, am I getting that wrong? No, yeah. It's it's a lot more, um, on, it was more straight. It was longer and it was straight on the 14s. This has got more of a curve to it on the actual toe. Now that that is something, you know, not a lot of people really care about, but it is noticeable when you get them next to each other. So that was one. Um, um, and as I say, the colour's different and the and the and the midsole and the laces. So yeah, the 14 was straighter and slimmer. The 24 has just got a little bit more of a curve and it's shorter. Um, but other than that, I mean listen, there's gonna be differences, a 10 year difference. Purposely, I'm sure they've made little tweaks, obviously the tongue and the colour of the midsole, they're the two big differences. Um nylon laces are a lot more common these days. It used to be more cotton, um, but most releases now are using nylon. I've got mixed views on it. Personally, I find they come undone. The Spezial TRX Vintage, I'm forever tying my shoelaces. I know how to tie shoelaces, but they always come undone more when they're nylon. I just find cotton hold. Um, but maybe that's just a, a, a flaw with one of the ones I've got. Um, but listen, it's nothing major. So there we are. There we are. There's the Ardwick. I, I love them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. It's made me want to get the 14s again, I'll have to say. 
Um, I'll be wearing these though. I'd like to double up on them because I think they're going to be a future classic. I'd like to maybe keep a pair tagged, not for profiteering, just for my collection. Um, the Topanga Speziales, obviously the same release in 2014 as the Ardwick 14. I'd like to get a pair of them again as well. Um, and I like, I just like the Topanga range, to be honest. Um, is it the Sesame? The leather that came out, um, which is the reissue of the Florida. Um, I'm really keen to get hold of as well. I've had them before again, so they're really nice. They're a leather, not a suede. So yeah, that's collecting. It never ends. It never. It, this is the thing with collecting. You know, you, you can't finish it, um, especially with with Adidas, because obviously you're getting re releases all the time. You're getting reissues. You move things on. You sell to buy, and this is the thing. It's for, it's forever changing. It's forever organic, and and that's the best part of it. And you meet people along the way who do you favours and you do them favours and hopefully I'm, I'm up for a favour for the Hardwick 14s but I'm not going to hold my breath on them. There's a lot more than 500 released of these certainly uh, going on eBay, the numbers on there, but it's still a limited release. There's a lot less of these released than there was the Lacombs and the Garwins as far as I'm aware. Obviously the Blackburn was also a limited, I think they did the 100 for the certain one. I've not looked into the Blackburns massively because... I wasn't going to get them anyway, but certainly these are a lot more limited than the Lacombs and the Garwins. Um, so that's that. Hope you're all happy with them. I'm sure everyone is. Um, people who haven't got them, as I say, keep trying eBay. Maybe they'll get restocks on some of the stockies. I doubt it, but I'm sure the eBay prices will come down because buyers will want the money back, as I say. Um, but yeah, delighted and uh, a real... A, a true grail, um, a reissue of a true grail, and I show these in, in, in time will also become grails. Uh, as I say, there is some differences, and that, that's what makes it even nicer. Um, I like the brown midsole better than the black, actually. Um, I like the fact it's a bit more of a subtle green. Um, the only thing I prefer on the Hardwick 14s was the laces. Um, the toe bar doesn't really make much difference to me. Um, inside, a lot better quality. I love the brown to match the midsole as well. You know, you've got the brown there, which I think re really goes well with, the, with that green. Just a classy, classy shoe. Um, so there we go. Um, before I finish, I want to do a shout out um, to basically the, the Adidas Special pages on Facebook. Uh, my collection would be nowhere near what it is without them. Um, yes, I go on eBay. Yes, I go on Vintage sometimes. Yes, we do private deals between each other sometimes. But, but Spezial on Facebook really has helped me build my collection over the last couple of years, certainly. So I want to give a shout out. Um, I know the, um, the latest page is Adidas Spezial Fanatics UK. It's already got 3,500 members. Really good page. Uh, Sai, who started that, gets asked to do a shout out. So there you go, Sai. Great page. Great guys on there. Pretty much most guys are on all of them. Um, the second one is the biggest one, Adidas Special. Correct me if I'm wrong, that was the first. That's got over 13,000 members, simply Adidas Special. Again, fantastic page. You're reaching out to 13,000 people. So if you want something and you put a shout out, generally somebody's got it. Um, and then um, we've got Adidas Special only. Uh, that's been going, I think, a couple of years, certainly. I've been on it a couple of years. Uh, that's got 6,000. So you're talking, you know, big numbers. And then a smaller group, added a special collectors group, um, a bit more specialised, if you like. Um, they're all invite only. You've got, to, you've got to go in and you've got to be accepted. Um, but all four great pages and different things for, you know, different folks, different strokes, different folks. But generally, well, the overwhelming uh, goal is special. Buying, selling, discussing what you've got, showing your collection, and for me, it's been, you know, a fantastic experience on there. I met some good guys along the way who have become friends as well. So there's your shout out, guys. Uh, and if you're not on Facebook, you're missing out, unfortunately. Insta, I go on that as well, but you don't get as much, to be fair. Facebook's my go-to. And uh, as I say, I've bought and sold on there for years. Um, and it's a really, really good source of, of buying and selling. So there we go. The Yardwicks, that's it done. That's it now for, well... A couple of months and then we'll be talking about the autumn winter collection i think there's coats coming out who knows uh, more footwear as well clearly will be it's been an expensive few months but we're uh we're, we're suckers we're suckers for it and uh, as i say it's in it's out sometimes it's selling some things you don't want to regretting it a year later and thinking ah now i'm trying to buy it i've done it myself so many times but that's the joys of collecting and uh 
thanks for watching everybody keep liking the channel keep subbing to the channel tell your pals about it it's growing i'm really flattered and i'm really enjoying it people keep asking me to do videos there'll be more coming um it's not just spezial it's adidas and i'll be doing some more reviews on two or three pairs that i've picked up recently as well uh, so i'm really excited about um an upcoming release as well from adidas so keep your eyes peeled for those enjoy your weekend keep it special till next time cheerio